Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm sharing some gift wrapping inspiration with you and I'm using this beautiful wrapping paper that I got from the Dollar Tree. As soon as I saw this wrapping paper, I knew it would look gorgeous with some Wild Orchid Craft flowers. And look how pretty that paper is. So I'm, I'm wrapping this album and I love that they give you the little lines on the inside of the paper to help me cut somewhat of a straight line because I can't seem to ever cut a straight line. So I'm just going to wrap this real quick and I'll be right back. So now that I've wrapped that, I'm pulling out some cream satin ribbon and I pulled out quite a bit that I'm going to wrap around the presents and I'm just taping it in the center. I'm not worried about how it looks because I plan on covering up that center. You won't see any of that tape there. So I'm going to wrap it around both sides of the present all the way around. Again, just cutting it off and taping it in the center. I'm also quickly going to tie a bow that I will end up using in the end for the center of that. And I wanted to give the present a little more texture, so I pulled out some twine that I had in my stash. And again, just wrapping it around, tying in a knot in the center, and I'll tape it in place. I'll just cut off the extra string that's there, and I'm wrapping it around both ways to go over that satin ribbon. And I'll be sure to put links for Wild Orchid Crafts down in the description box. Check out their website. They're always adding new products and they always have great sales going on. So check out the description box for more information or the products that I use today. So I'm just pulling out some flowers and I'm using these beautiful flowers. I don't end up using the white or white and yellow ones. But these are the pretty flory flowers, and this one here are the pastel anemone flowers. Absolutely beautiful. You get a lot of them to a package. And I do end up using the GMs in the end, one of them in the end. So again, check the description box if you're looking for a link for those. So this package or this gift is for my son's girlfriend. So I wanted to make it um, very girly. So I pulled out that flower rhinestone trim from my stash and I'm also using this glitter tape that I got from the Dollar Tree. They come in um, a package of three. I think it was silver, pink, and blue. And I love this silver because it's a it's a very muted silver, really pretty. I'll tape it in the center just to make sure it's adhered down very well. And I only added it to the one side. I didn't go around the other way as well as you can see there. Here are some new flowers at Wild Orchid Crafts. These are Chelsea roses, absolutely gorgeous flowers. I'm using the white ones today. They also have pink and pale pink, several different colors, beautiful flowers. So I pulled out three of them there. Here I wanted to add a little bit more of that twine in. So I'm wrapping it around this package just to make it large enough. Normally I use my hand if I, if I want it a little bit smaller. So I wrapped it around I think three times and now I'm just gathering it in the center with another piece of twine and placing a knot in it to hold it together. And then I'll just adhere that down just to give it a little bit more texture like I said to the package. I like to just kind of set everything around to decide what I like or don't like and then 
adhere it down once I'm happy with it. So that little flower rhinestone trim was a little bit too long. I cut it down. I just had to take one of the flowers off and now I'm going to adhere it down with my hot glue gun. I get asked a lot which hot glue gun I use. I'm using the Aileen's multi-purpose glue gun and I used a coupon for it at Michael's a long time ago. I absolutely love that glue gun. Matter of fact, I burnt my first one out, so I replaced it again with the exact same gun. It doesn't leak when it's sitting there, and sometimes I have it on for hours, and it doesn't leak. At first, when you first heat it up, a little of the glue will leak, but after that, it doesn't. So I'm just adhering everything right down in the middle, adding a lot of hot glue under the flowers. I want to make sure it's not going anywhere. And I'm just adjusting that twine to make sure that you can still see it. I pulled out some hip rosebuds. I love Wild Orchid Craft hip rosebuds. They, they have lots and lots of colors. They also have multicolor packs. And these to me are great filler flowers. Like there was a, a gap there in between those Chelsea flowers and the anemone flowers. So I added a few of the hip rosebuds. And being that I added two at the top, I wanted to balance it out by adding a couple at the bottom. So I'm just cutting off the stem of them. Sometimes I like to wrap the stem and let it show. And then other times I just cut it off. So in this case, on those bottom two, I just cut them off and we'll adhere them down. And now I'm taking my heat gun to where I use the hot glue. If there's any hot glue strings, that will get rid of them. They just dissipate with the heat. Next, I pulled out some Nouveau drops. I love using Nouveau drops and I'm, I'm squeezing them out on a scratch piece of paper in case they, just to get them going and in case they squirt out, have an air bubble in them, I'm getting that out before I use them. So I'm using both the white and carnation pink. And this first one here, I wasn't happy with it. So I'm just showing you, I just take a Q-tip and wipe it off and then start again. And I love using Nouveau Drops. I thought it just added a really pretty decoration to the package. And lastly, you'll see her, I, after I scatter around the Nouveau Drops, and you do wanna let those dry overnight, I add one more flower to it. I thought it needed one more pop of color. So I hope you've enjoyed today's project. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and stay tuned for photos and check out the description box for any links. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.